Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about trackpads on laptops. Uh, the reason I want to talk about that is um, I've, I've seen that from a lot of uh, clients that have new Windows 8 laptops. Their trackpad is kind of making them go crazy and they just don't understand uh, one thing is that Windows 8 enabled computers, uh, laptops, have trackpad gestures. So it means that you can actually do a lot of what people do on their touch screens but on the trackpad itself. Think of the trackpad on your laptop uh, as a touch device like being a touch screen. So you'll swipe and you'll do the same thing that you would do on a touch screen just to uh, check it out. So for example, one, the first gesture you should know and that everybody should know is the pinch and the reverse pinch. If you're on a web page and here let's display a uh, you know search some kind of a uh, page here. So here I am and you want to make things either bigger or smaller. So zoom in or zoom out. You will pinch your trackpad. So with two fingers on the trackpad, pinch and you will see that things will go smaller. Same thing, reverse pinch. Two fingers on the trackpad, but now you will separate your fingers together. Always maintain both fingers on the trackpad all time. This will enable zoom in, zoom out. That's the first thing you need to know. Second thing you need to know is that your trackpad can enable vertical and horizontal scrolling with two fingers. Another example, let's go to a web page. I will go to the Computer World web page, for example, here. If you want to go and scroll down, you can use two fingers that you put on the trackpad and swipe upwards and you'll see that the page will scroll upwards. Reverse is true. Two fingers on the trackpad. If you go downwards, this it will scroll downwards on the page. That's something also that a lot of people don't know. Now, if pages or, for example, one great example of that is your start screen, are horizontal, the same two fingers, but this time you'll slide them left and right. So two fingers on the trackpad, put them on the right side of the trackpad and swipe with two fingers on the left and you'll see that it moves the display to the left. Same thing, two fingers on the trackpad, swipe to the right and you'll see that it goes to the right. Another very interesting example of your trackpad is when you are using um, your Windows 8 machine, you can get the charms bar. And to get the charms bar, all you have to do is with one finger, go to the edge of your trackpad on the right side and swipe slowly in. And this will show your um, charms bar. As you see here, I have my charms bar and then you can actually go and do whatever you want on that charms bar. So if I keep it on the start, it will bring me the start screen. So, and if you swipe up and down, you see that it moves to the different options that I might want, settings and so on. So one finger on the right edge of your trackpad, swiping in brings the charms bar. Same thing is true of the app bar. On the left side of your screen, when you have multiple apps and programs open, you have what is called the app bar. The app bar is the same thing, but in reverse of the charms bar. Now you'll put your finger on the left edge of your trackpad and swipe in or swipe on the right. And you'll see the, the app bar show up. So these are all things that are very useful and once you get used to them, you will actually prefer using these gestures than actually bringing up the charms bar by going on the corners 
and so on. It's sometimes a little irritating. Uh, if you have an app open and you want to go to the charms bar by going on the right side, you might bring up something else. It's always a little complicated uh, with that. So remember the gestures. They are very important. If you uh, have difficulty using them, uh, you know, use them regularly and, um, you know, do uh, try them and, you know, roll back the video and try them again and again until you are at ease in using these gestures. All Windows 8 laptops have multiple gestures. Um, one thing that I need to uh, mention here, though, is that on some computers, gestures might slightly be different. The ones that I show you here are the general Windows 8 universal gestures. But a lot of laptops will have their own gestures with the uh, driver and the trackpad software that comes depending on the, the computer you have, a Toshiba, a Dell, an HP, and so on. So remember that. So try it out. Trackpad gestures, uh, two finger swipes, and one finger on the edges for the charms and for the um, app bar. So um, hope that it helps and that it helps in your using of a computer. So um, if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about. Let us know also. We'll try to put that video online. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.